My name is Chet Davis and I'm president of ESA, the developers of the EasyPower line of power system software products. Today we are going to walk through the various aspects of ArcFlash hazard compliance, including creating a one-line diagram, NFPA 70E Article 120F1, 205.2, and other sections, performing short circuit calculations and equipment duty verification, Article 400.5 and 400.6, protective device coordination, Article 410.9, Arc flash hazard calculations, Article 130.3, and work permits, Article 130.1. We'll then wrap that up and show you how to put a safety program directly into your one line diagram for all your arc flash hazard compliance needs. The first thing we want to do is work on creating a one line. And the really cool thing about doing that in Easy Power is the only thing you have to know is how to left mouse click. I'm going to go up to the uh, toolbar. Now, when we're in this video capture mode, the tool tips don't show up, so I apologize for that. This is a little utility symbol. I'm going to left mouse click. As I drag my mouse off the toolbar, my mouse turns into whatever I've selected, in this case, the um, utility. I can now place this anywhere on the one-line diagram just by left mouse clicking. Again, and you'll see there's my utility. Now it turns red because it's not connected to anything at this point. So Easy Power is always going to flag you if there's a problem. This isn't a real problem, but it's, it's um, just showing that it's not connected. Now I'm going to go up and grab a conductor coming in from this utility, and we have three types of conductors. We have insulated conductor, we have feeder bus duct, and we have transmission lines. Now I'm going to grab an insulated conductor. Those three types of equipment show up as a little crosshair. Now you may think that um, it should show up a line, something like that, but if we did that you'd have to drag two ends around which would take twice as long. So we make a little crosshair, you just put it on the end of this utility, you left mouse click, drag and release, and it automatically comes up with a wizard. It checks both pieces of equipment and says we don't know what a voltage is the voltage for the uh, utility incoming and so we come up with a wizard and we give you a default voltage that it might be typical to your system in this case 13.8 I'm going to select that say OK and what the first thing the program does is it inserts a bus this bus is the connection point between this outside utility source impedance and the internal um, conductor impedance or this branch impedance and we connect those in power system terminology with this bus or node and this determines the voltage level so now we can calculate our branch flows into this bus and our branch flows out of this bus if I put my mouse on either side of the bus you'll see a little east-west arrow show up as soon as you see that east-west arrow you can left mouse click and you can actually make this a node or you can left mouse click extend this bus out both ways and now we make a much larger bus where we can actually create a switchgear lineup. I'm going to go up to the toolbar and select this high voltage switchgear or high voltage breaker. As I left mouse click on it my mouse turns into whatever I've selected. I'm going to bring it down. Now we can um, snap this in directly on the utility source without breaking the utility source just by left mouse clicking. I can also left mouse click on the bus and snap in a couple feeders and I can left mouse click on this branch and snap that in and with a couple mouse clicks we have our 13 kV switchgear bus. Now we can come back and place um, CTs and relays in this switchgear lineup and we'll do that maybe a little bit later. Now you're going to see me do two things as we go through this video. You're going to see me scroll in and scroll out. Notice how the mouse stays in the middle of the um, diagram. That is the whole design philosophy around the Easy Power software is we keep the mouse in the middle of the screen. Every time we go up to the toolbar it takes one second to get up, two seconds to find the button, and another second back down to implement. That's why toolbar buttons are very, very um, inefficient and time-consuming. So we want to do in Easy Power about 90% of all the different um, things we do to create a one-line 
by keeping our mouse in the middle of the screen. Now we do have toolbar buttons um, for various aspects such as you know all the equipment duty equipment uh, types and features and that's just part of you know handling so many different types of equipment. The other thing you're going to see me do is if I press my little roller between my left and right mouse keys I can drag my page around and um, uh, reposition so you'll see me do that quite often so I can scroll in scroll out with my little roller between my left and right mouse keys and then I can drag you'll notice that this conductor turns red and that's because it is not terminated on the end of this conductor you'll see we have a 13.8 kV switchgear lineup with a non terminated conductor so that's easy power is telling you that you're you've got a conductor lying on the ground improperly terminated it's energized and so now we have part of the one line to hook up and connect so I'm gonna go up and grab a transformer here's a two winding transformer I'm gonna left mouse click drag it off when I get it near this little X I can just left mouse click and it snaps in notice that it puts in the bus for us that's the termination point on the conductor or on the transformer high voltage bushing conductors for this this uh, cable or conductor. So now we can calculate our branch flows from the 13.8 kV system down to the primary of the transformer.